It's called WAM, Winning Hearts and Minds, and the Syrian government is trying to do exactly that in Syria's Duma. Food distribution is on and efforts are being made to restore local services. But more than that, trust has to be won. We on West Asia Bureau Chief Daniel Pagani getting us the latest from Amman. The Syrian government is moving quickly to win hearts and minds of the people of Duma. Provisions have been made. An initial amount of $9.7 million is there for different domains. And if that is not enough, then we are ready to give more. The most important issue here is to restore services for the locals. The Syrian government is sending trucks full of bread to distribute to those who have remained in Duma. But this is easier said than done. They said they will hand out bread, noodles and vegetables. But it is hard for us to stand in a queue and wait for one hour to get one item. So if we want four kinds of food, we need to stand in the queue for four hours. Most civilians left Duma well before the Syrian army took control. Many have reached the province of Idlib, where 2.5 million people live under the control of the Army of Islam, an anti-Assad armed group. Duma was under its control for six years before the Syrian government sealed off the city and the larger enclave of eastern Ghouta, a few kilometers from Damascus. Stories are trickling in of the conditions in which people lived during those days. Few international aid convoys were allowed to enter. The black market flourished and prices skyrocketed. The Army of Islam ensured much of the food was kept for its fighters. When the Army of Islam left, we found in the depots food that could satisfy Duma's resident for a year. They were not offering us anything but only hunger and starvation. We hoped to eat wheat bread as we just were eating malt. If you are a merchant, then they would fabricate something to exploit you. A bag of bread was worth 3,000 Syrian pounds and was only for the rebels. The rebels and their leaders have everything, but we have to eat very poor food. Our shop has been here for 47 years. When the town was besieged, we bought raw materials at higher prices and kept our business going. Despite the best efforts of the Syrian government, restoring normalcy in eastern Ghouta will take a long time. After over six years of daily bombardment, Ghouta is severely damaged, its infrastructure barely functioning. Thousands of people are displaced, living in temporary camps. They wish to return to their homes, but are wary of how the government could react. Clearly, it will take a lot more than distributing bread to win hearts and minds. Now that the military battle is over, there is another battle, perhaps even more difficult, that the Syrian government needs to fight in Eastern Ghouta and in Duma. It is the battle to bring back normalcy in an area which has been living under siege for years and under bombs for weeks. Many of the citizens of Eastern Ghouta and the city of Duma do not live there anymore. They have abandoned the place under bombs. They escaped, they fled, they are now in temporary camps. They want to come back, but it will not be easy because their houses are destroyed, services are not available, and also the level of the social infrastructure is nearly non-existent. It will take years and a huge effort of reconciliation from the Syrian government side to allow all the citizens of Eastern Ghouta and Duma to go back to their houses and their life safely. Daniele Pagani in Amman, Jordan, for Vion.